Hello, comrades. It's Premier River once again in the city of Neuve Revergrad. Though again, it's not a city. <laughs> Looks a little more like a bomber target at this exact moment, doesn't it? Yeah, imagine. I bet you ever see where they have those? They drop the sandbags on the <laughs> on the field or something, or dummy bombs. In any event, I uh, would like to come in here real quick, just so I don't delete it. And I will end up deleting all of this eventually. Actually, the you know what? These lines tend to stay there, don't they? So let's just cancel, cancel this all together. We have our little trees that mark the center. And did it keep those? Oh, no, it didn't keep them. That's all right. We can, that's not where they were going anyhow. So we don't really need them for the purposes now. But I paused time for a reason. Because I have a bit of a jam up. There's other things. This is going to be a bit of a construction episode mostly. And a let's straighten out some problems kind of episode. So let's close this right there. And this is the problem that we have. <laughs> we have a little bit of a backup. I think it's because we're not exporting enough bitumen. But it looks like a bitumen truck must have just left. Yeah, he's got 16 tons of bitumen. So we have no fuel. So this is what happens when you don't pay attention, right? But it's also why it's good to go look at your city. You can you can tell a lot of the problems in this game just by, you know, looking. Is your storage yard full? And is your, you know, do you not have any traffic jams? So what I want to do just to get rid of this mess so we don't grind everything to a halt is tell this guy not to wait. And then let's let's play and see what happens here. We'll just get this mess straightened out. Yeah, see, these guys definitely shouldn't be waiting here. Now, what are you doing? Did it, are you Okay, you are getting fuel because we did have some, so good. Let's just make sure these guys... I don't know why that guy was on wait. It certainly is an argument for making a, a longer road, right? All right, so that guy... Not on wait. Yeah, see, we're starting to cause a lot of... How about this guy? Not on wait. All right, so if this guy ever fills up, he's up to 13 tons. So, so that we'll come back in. Well, we're not going to go that far. But we'll, we'll come and check on that in a minute. But what that does lead me to is rather than ramping up our truck so much, and I'm hoping this doesn't cause too many problems for us. I think some of our gas stations are on purchase fuel as a backup. But what I would like to do is talk about getting this going. And it kind of works out pretty well because this guy is at 95% done the last building. Here, let's zoom over there real quick. We can zoom back. So this is the last building over here. And to be honest, even though we built all of this, it's probably more for future considerations. We don't really have anything else you know, it's screaming for them to work on. And maybe in this episode, we can once he's done this, which he will be very shortly, we can get this all you know all the trucks up to here and get that organized so let's that back to here so in other words this guy is pretty free to start working on this stuff so let's get the loading station done first and then why don't we assign him two of the pipelines and then we'll keep him doing that now i did look too at one point we were oops, that's not a pump at one point we were low on oil and we are really not great on oil so we have to keep that in mind that we do probably need to up our oil production at some point but again not not overly urgent okay so good so this is not the quickest plan to get this problem fixed but good at least we don't have people sitting here waiting and we have no fuel <laughs> and is this back to full of yeah, see, this is back to full of bitumen. So let's just take a look at this real quick. Oh, wait, that's not. Yeah, see, there's another bitumen truck. So let's click on this. How many of those do we have? Yeah, I think that's. Let's see, is that four? Let's OK, yeah, I wasn't sure if it. Vehicles with this route, it, it does switch them back and forth if that makes sense so there is four like i wasn't sure if it would have them in both lists in a sense but good so there we go we got four cisterns driving bitumen out of here so i don't know if that's not a product of 
you know, we had some jam ups down here. Let's make sure we still don't have any jam ups. And uh, I'm not seeing, I know it's a little far away for you guys to see, but yeah, I'm not seeing any train jam up. So we should be, we should be pretty good as far as that goes. All right. So now, is there any other problems over here? No, we got both this. We really need to get these. These are taking forever, but they are every time. I mean, I've kept a kind of close eye on these tunnels being built and they are definitely uh, being built. So, you know, not too much that we can do there. Now, how are we doing on our plastic? We're full of plastic, which is good. So that means we're not going to use too much oil. It means we're keeping up, but we don't have all the chemicals we could use. And let's see, how are our chemicals doing? Now, again, this is another area that we could improve. You know, we have all this laid out for another chemical plant. So this is our chemical train and it's got 41. Now I don't think we need 10 tons of these, but yeah, so we have all the electrical components that we would need because we're, we're now not purchasing those from to this one. How are we doing? We got plenty of oil. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely something else that could be ramped up. But we'll see. So let's, uh, how are we doing here with these guys? Okay, they need a construction project. I'm going to start putting these up here. Hopefully that doesn't bother anyone. And what were they working on? They were working on stuff over here at this point. So let's get them to finish off this. So we'll get them to work on that and that. And that shouldn't, conf well, you know what? And this and this. <laughs> and then it's done. So we know when this guy's done, he's done. And then we can talk about, oh, you know what, though? Ah, no, no, no. Sorry. Hold off a minute, guys. Please. I had him working on something else, and I forgot that quick. In the last episode, I talked about putting in a road cargo station. So let's have him work on that. Yeah, once that's done, then what we're going to do is we're going to straighten out this mess a little bit later in the episode so that these guys just aren't constantly running back and forth. Talk about a waste of fuel. Now that fuel is a bit of an issue, right? Because we will start running out of fuel if we don't get that straight. So maybe one of the ways to do it, and we're probably using a lot of fuel just on our constructions alone. So, all right, good. So let's just keep taking a look. Oh, you know what we can look at while we're going through every place? You know, I'm just looking for, you know, the storage yards all have stuff in them. You know, we looked at, we got oil here. You know, we got a train there. So, yeah, all of these should be full because they have trains. We got gravel here. And we got our train sitting there. So let's just take a look at our schools. Oh yeah, we're doing fine there. Let's go take a quick look at Lumbrisca. Yeah, now what are you? Are we, do we have a problem here with, yes, we only have one wood truck and because we put this guy on weight, right? Yeah, wait at the sawmill, but don't wait to offload your cargo. That's going to cause him to drive around, but because we only have one parking space here, it's, it's just a problem. Okay, so at least that'll keep the wood truck flowing, right? Yeah, because we only have, yeah, there's only one truck to bring wood down here, so that kind of ground us to a halt there, so. All right, well, the other thing is, is I'd really like to get in a you know, a cargo, a rail loading station would be awful nice here. Now, was there any way we could get that? Let's just see. Can we level? We don't probably don't have an excavator now. Yeah, the only way we're going to do that, I mean, it could possibly fit up in here, but it's an awful big hill. <laughs> All right, well, we may have to deal with that inefficiency for a little bit. Now, the other thing we could possibly have them do well, let's try this. We have two trucks and we have enough parking spaces. 
So let's, let me just pause this for a minute. So this wood cutting truck is going to load wood, go to the sawmill, unload the wood. Let's add, I oh, know. Now, I don't know if they do this intelligently or not, but let's just see. I've never done this. Now, I want you, after you unload that, I want you to load up boards. Now, I don't know if we get them in the right proportions here that this is going to work. And then I want you to unload boards here. All right? Let's go back to here. So we got boards getting unloaded at the train station. We've got wood being unloaded here. And then, now do we want to wait? Yeah, that's what we'll do. We won't wait here. We'll wait until we're unloaded. We'll wait. And then we won't wait here, right? I think that will, yeah, wait until you're loaded with wood. And then wait until you're unloaded the wood, but then just go, like, get the wood out of this yard if there's any in there. All right, so now this guy is the other one. Let's give him the same route. But since he's already got boards in them, I want you to go to this one next. All right, does that make sense? I hope so. I think it does. Yeah, so you're you're not going to wait there. You're just going to go so they don't clog up the works. And then you've got a full load of wood. So he'll if he, if this is already full, they'll wait here to unload the wood. And because there's only two of them, they'll tend to wait in this spot for lumber to come out. And then once it does, they'll come here. Now the problem is if there's no train here to drop the lumber off to, they really should be waiting, shouldn't they? Yeah, they really need to wait there. Hmm, that's kind of a problem with my little plan here. Well, so what it means is that there's a, not a train sitting there that it, it's just going to grind to a halt. And I guess that's okay because other than the waste of people, <laughs> it's... See, like, as he's going back with a load of wood now. So let's, I mean, I want to even just send him back to there. Yeah, so both of these guys are going to end up sitting here waiting with, yeah, did you wait? Okay, you know what, we, that's fine. Just bring whatever wood you have down there. So the process stopped, but it only stopped because we don't need any more wood, right? So I'm kind of okay with that. All right, good. All right, so how is Lombriska School doing? Just change subjects abruptly on you guys. Plenty of teachers, only little kids. This, these are some of the best ABC'd people in the whole game. <laughs> so how are we doing? And how are we doing with our overall population here? Boy, we have a lot of adults. Look, we're almost up to, well, 19,000, almost 20,000 people. Oh, let's use our new fancy, new fancy placement tool. I don't know if you guys realize this, but we now have a brush tool. So I like to put the pine trees. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo. Boy, that's so much easier. Thank you, devs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that that's just... I don't think we, well, let's, let's, we can put some down around the railroad tracks, right? If they come get them, they come get them. If they don't, they don't. Yeah, I think that's, this is like the border of where they won't go anymore. But there you go. And we got a whole bunch of trees, lickety split. I like it. Well, that makes me happy compared to putting in all those. <laughs> yeah. That, you know, I think that it would be great if they did a couple things in the game with like in-game mechanisms and one would be you know I don't think there's any reason that the wood cutting post couldn't plant trees maybe you'd have to have another you know vehicle that would go out there and plant them maybe I don't know if it's seeds or a thing but you know what I'm saying like you it would cost you some money and the fuel to drive out there and 
they'd have to get refueled periodically and you'd have to have worker to go up there to to do that which right now when you think about it you don't even necessarily need workers here i don't think do you i forget if it's one of those where the mechanism just goes out all right so let's uh while we're thinking about it let's go take a quick look Yeah, where is our lumber train? Make sure he's not having problems. Well, he's moving. Yeah, he's full of wood, so... Well, not full, but he, he's doing his stop, so that's good. Very good. Where are you? You're just heading back from up here. Okay. Good. Okay. So now... That's taken care of. What else? Let's just shrink this guy back up. He's well on his way to that. Let's go take a look at how this is doing. Still no fuel. Still too much bitumen. This is getting built. Okay, look, those pipes are built. Let's come here and give these guys something more to do. Those are going to be relatively expensive, but we'll get those built. Good. Okay, so that's getting worked on. We'll get a bitumen train going to sell some stuff eventually. We can decide whether we want it to go to the Americans or the Soviet. Uh, right now, our American dollars are actually going down, so that's, that's a bit of a problem. And I think some of it is because we're not making enough power. So one of our bigger sources of income has been has been power so now another problem we do not have power to here and therefore we don't have gas stations so this is causing a bit of an issue not so much with the regular trucks but i did decide to move this up me had given me a comment saying that she felt that you know like these trucks you know, if your depot isn't necessarily right near your supplies, they will go back and forth between the two a little bit more intelligently than, say, like they'll have a route when they're out there driving around. Like, say this guy has a route, but what is he doing? Oh, he's going to get fuel. See, there you go. So there's a bit of a problem. But they don't always necessarily go back to the depot each time if they know they can get fuel closer. But there's still, I don't know, it's always better to have everything close if you can. So I think for some bigger projects, it's fine. But if you get these little projects, the problem is they keep running. They run all over because they, then they do go back. It's only when they can take like more than one load of the same thing to the same job. So, But anyway, we're, we're, we're doing fine. So let's, uh, let's try to keep some people busy. Yep, a Tupafalu. Yeah, this, let's have him finish up this, which the other guy started. And we'll have him finish up this. Now, I did have in between the episodes problems with this guy again. So, now we have no prefab panels. Why don't we have... What are you doing? So, you ended up... Yeah, see, and they keep, I don't know what's going on here, but they it keeps going over. You see that? Like, I mean, I'm not, I haven't canceled any jobs, or but it's like they're bringing stuff back or they're just overloading the place. So now we have steel, but we don't have prefab panels. And are we just ground to a halt? Or are we out there working, I hope? No, we're just ground to a halt again. Yeah, so this is really becoming an issue. I mean, it's just very aggravating. Like, So I think the thing to do now is let's take and copy this guy's route to here. And I'm going to take this guy and for now just get him out of the works. Right? And then this guy. Yeah, load prefab panels. So what are you doing? Are you are you just confused? 
Let's see if we can't. Okay, there he goes. I'm not sure quite what happened there, but I clicked on <laughs> go back to the storage, which he's already at, and then he seemed to move. And I don't know if that was. I don't know if that was my doing or not, but okay. Anyway, we should have prefab panels now coming. And just so you know, we did put two buses on here, so we seem to be doing very well with workers now. So now do we have it all jammed up with stuff? Yes, for some reason it now is jammed up with just whatever else. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have a jam up of gravel. We have a gram up, jam up of steel and bricks. All right, so the frustration never ends, right? So let's take this guy and put him. I don't know why this one is jamming up so so badly, you know? And then I want to take this guy and say, since he's already got steel on him, let's say you load up with steel at the... Yeah, you know what? Let's let's get rid of your route altogether. And I want you to come here and load up with steel and then come here and do nothing. Load steel. Nothing. Uh Yeah, wait until loaded start. Yeah, this is I don't understand why it. I got it on limit amount, right? Boom, boom. And I don't know why it's doing this. I don't know if it's because the trains are coming back, but the, look, none of them finished a job recently, right? They all went out in good shape, and then they came back. And because that one guy got, I don't even know how he got steel in him. I never, you know, I would never would have told him to get steel. <laughs> You know, so let's see. We'll just get this straightened out real quick because it's, I don't know if it's interesting, but it's certainly something we have to deal with. So now we should be putting prefab panels in there, right? Or at some point we'll get below the maximum storage of this thing. And Our prefab panels guy, yes, he's putting panels in and trains are taking them out. And then we're going to take this guy. Yeah, that's, that's good enough. Tell him to go back here. Now that our steel guy is here. Now look, see, some, why did he get little boards in him? All right, well, you know what? How did he get boards in there? You guys just saw that. There was no way I switched him. At no point did he ever get boards, but the problem is when you're telling them to wait and you don't tell them to unload anything, <laughs> then they end up putting a little bit of stuff in there. So I guess we have to go to each of these guys and tell them, look, just unload anything, you know, just see if that helps. Bricks, you know, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, but at least that way when they're waiting... You know, there's a better chance that they'll just unload anything. I'm not sure how it's it's a glitch that's putting that tiny itty bit in there. All right, so this guy is yeah, you're your do nothing guy. Yeah, you're the one that's got a few boards in you, so you can start because we do need steel in there, right? Now you're yeah, this is a problem too. We want to get this fixed pretty pretty quickly. All right, our bridge is doing pretty well. It would be great when he gets this first section done, then we can do that. But I did try to assign three trains out to here, and they seem to be doing okay, though I know I'm asking for conflict somewhere along the line here where they're going to run into each other. But, you know, I had guys working this way and then a couple guys working this way. So, so good. All right, anyway is are we we're flowing trains out which i guess at this point that's a cistern we don't want that yeah it'll be nice to get this bridge section done because then we can work on a few bricks and get them out of there without having doing this manual fiasco 
Now, why do we have two of the uh, ones of construction? Yeah, they're construction guys taking prefabs out, panels out. Good. Okay. Another thing that I wanted to do, probably fairly important, is we need to get some power to this over here. And one of the things I think I'd like to do is level this off a little bit. So I think I'm going to take, let me take a little bit of, of a break from recording. And I just sort of want to level out this area so that it's nice for bringing our trains in. Uh, obviously, at some point, you know, we're kind of up in the hill. And I think we might go straight through here, even though we've already built a construction thing in the area. So like this last bit, I'll probably keep somewhat sloped. But I'll just come in here just before we build these power lines and just sort of level things out, you know, just so that they're you know, not necessarily level, but smooth them out so that we can build railroad tracks up into here. Because definitely want to get tracks to go over into here at least and probably go straight through here eventually. So rather than having you guys suffer through watching me level. Let's do that. Oh, but before we do that, because I do want to keep time rolling forward, I'd like to get this guy fired up. We didn't give them any workers because they don't get any automatically from the town. And when we were looking around before, didn't we see some buses? Yes. There we go. So let's head back over there. And I don't necessarily want to put two buses on at the start, but I do want to bring, let's just put this guy in this depot. And then we'll, we'll give this guy a new route and say, I want you to go from there to there. You, oh, that's right. We needed, we don't have, oh, this is a problem. Watch this. That's right. That's why I didn't do it before. This is too, too close. So let's just have this guy come up to this depot as well. Just so he's up here ready. To, oops, that's not the depot. The depot and the constructions do look pretty close, don't they? So the problem we have here is that this is not, it's too far away from that. Because <laughs> the only path is to go all the way around here. Now, I do wish these, I understand why you might not be able to get a walking path across here, but that's going to be a problem for this building using this bus stop. Because I don't think they're going to be able to walk all the way around to this building, but... In any event, we do need to get footpaths going. So let me do something like this, right? Will that come out of there and go into there? Yeah, that's ugly though. You know what? Stop that. Let me go like this and that. Cancel footpath. There you go. Commit to footpath. Good. Somebody needs something to do, I'm sure. Yes. So let's assign everything that we can here. And I'll come by and finish these up. Doesn't connect. What? Uh, I guess you can't build those through. I guess not. Okay. Fine. All right. So build that. Build that. Can't build that. Okay. So we'll get Hegiodal. Hegiodal up here as well. Okay, so let me do a little bit of leveling, um, and then we'll get this guy fired up. And then how are we doing down here with before we go? Okay, good. Look, okay, never mind. We're not going to go to a break. Well, we do want to get that power worked on. But I also, well, this is fine. Let's, but I will do this. And I'll do a bunch of this in, but, you know, I'll keep guys busy. There we go. Now we want to get him working on those two things like we had talked about before. Are you busy? Are you busy? Good. So a lot of people are busy. Yeah, these guys are still doing this. How about you being assigned to a road? Okay, road crew. Activate. There we go. So they'll get another good chunk of this road built which is great because we want to get this built over here we definitely need power so when we come back we'll talk about how we get power in general to Neuve Revergrad keeping in mind that I think we're getting low on power production so I think I'm actually going to switch 
switch our priorities as far as getting power to getting coal mines and, and all that kind of stuff over here so we can get some power plants going back in this general area. Just because as we ramp up more and more productions, I think we're going to start having power issues. We only have like one and a half power. Look at that little caravan of trucks. Cool. All right, guys, let me level this out and I'll be right back, you know, pretty, pretty shortly here. All right, a little bit of a side note. I uh, messed up. <laughs> I told these guys to build these pipelines, and I realized after I did it, the fact that this is running, these oil tanks, you, or bitumen tank, oil tank, you need to specify those before you connect them to your thing, or otherwise you might get fuel in both of these, right? And that would be a pain. <laughs> so I imagine we might be able to straighten it out later, but I just went ahead and demolished what we had just got done building so let me come over here to pipelines i just wanted to leave that in white to show you guys what i did for a second so we will construct those after we do the tanks probably should have built the tanks first i guess before anything but in any event we'll we'll get that done <clears throat> so a little more time has passed than than i had anticipated and the reason is i didn't have an excavator up here to take care of this but now if we plop on our, our wireframe tool you can see all of those hills are out of the way easy peasy leveling so now what we can do is get our power line i also kind of forgot but i'm glad i noticed we have a coal mine right here which makes putting a steel mill here a little bit easier i don't think we have to necessarily train in all of the coal if we were to put a steel mill here but it also says that I definitely want to keep my power lines close to this side so that if we do have trains that come straight on through you know they, they wouldn't necessarily go up on the side of this hill anyway but you get the idea so we'll, we'll keep train lines over on this way so that way I'll cheat my power lines further over I kind of am not real happy with myself for having put this power line I think I wish I had it further over that way. Anyhow, so in any event, let's uh, let's head over to here and oops, let's turn off the wireframe. There we go. Yeah, I don't necessarily want all those. Yeah, this would be as far over. I can see where that road was, so I can tell left and right you know, where, where I want to be, but also this would, I kind of want to get this, I didn't want it to put another one here because if we're going to have tracks, they're, you know, they're going to be all in this area. Not that we can avoid it, but why put an extra power pole in that we're just going to almost certainly have to knock down. All right, so now let's try to make this straight up to a point. Yeah, now of course I'm getting into that. Yeah, so that's not as not as straight as I would have hoped. All right, let's uh, let's get rid of this one and then go from here. Sorry, right, it doesn't have to be. Rather, it look half decent. Yeah, that's. I think it would have looked decent, but now it looks more than half decent. I hope. <laughs> All right, so. I'm thinking just right here, you know, like we, we put a switch at that point. Oh, you know, the other thing I want to do is I leveled out a little bit of along here. So I deleted this road that was sort of marking our corridor. I've noticed too, by the way, we leveled all of this and all of these, you know, some of these we just put down, but like that old railroad track, it just comes back. It's like once you had a road there, it's like permanent, even if you, even if you cover it with a, uh, 20 yards of of dirt you know so anyway i want to have a power line coming this way all right into here so let's see can i get that to be red yeah so what i want to do is right about this area let's cancel this one and i want to put in a high voltage switch yeah, that might have a problem getting a road connection, but we'll, if we have to pay for it, we have to pay for it. I think that's right in the middle. 
The other thing is that's just a temporary dirt road behind there anyhow. So I might be able to delete it. Oh, that's a pain. That's ugly. Okay, so there we go. So that gets us by there. And then here we'll put another switch just because I like my switches. And... You know what? I'm thinking I should put it this way. Maybe a little bit further down, right? Where it's a little more level. There we go. So hopefully that's just one power pole away. Good. <laughs> We're within one power pole away. All right, so now this could come over here. Let me let me get my delete tool out. And I want to the road tool. If you try to level around these power lines, it doesn't work. But if you get the road tool going, let me get the wireframe on for a second just so I can make a... There we go. Right, I'll show you what I mean here in a second. You don't like that? Matt, you don't like that? Or you're fighting with the... Yeah, you're too close to that. Okay. Ah, I didn't really want to go up like that. No, you're too close to that road. All right, you know what? Delete a little bit more of that. Like, in other words, if you can get close to this without being too close, right? Like, there. See how you can level right near the, like underneath of them. Otherwise you can't level under them. Yeah, see like if I turn that way, then I should be able to like, yep, sneak it by here. See how we can sort of work our way all the way around that. And the reason I'm, ah, I didn't want to do that. All right, so now we should be able to level Enough to put in a transformer right there, right? So power transformer. There we go. All right, so I don't think that's going to be in the way, and it'll give us power for, you know, say a coal mine or whatever else. The real thing now is to get like a substation over to here. And I actually probably want to, I'm going to put it further over this way because I would like to get it to where we have some storage over here, I think, potentially. I don't know if we'll do that, but I, this will also be out of the way, I think, of anything else we'd build. And what I'll do is... Let's go back over to medium voltage. Yeah, see, that was exactly what I was expecting. Make sure we get the gas station in range. And then, you know what? These are just going to be little power line or mediums. I'm going to come off of here. Oop, wrong one. I want to come off of this one, I think. Yeah, we'll just do that for now. If that's in the way, it's in the way, we'll we'll redo it, right? Good. So now what we need to do is delete that. And then I'm just gonna put a little dirt road off the end of there for now. Nope. We need too sharp. Come on. All right. There, so now we have a little road to there. Let's make, let's commit to those. Let's go back over to here, commit to these. Now we need to get a few more dirt roads up to here. Um, yeah, I guess we'll come right off of there. And then this guy,
Good. So that's our switch. That's our. Yeah. So we should be covered there. And then this guy. Uh, you don't like that. How about if I go. Turn on our. Yeah. So can we level here? Is there too much? Now here. You know what we can do? We can. Delete some of this. Um, for temporary, I'm okay with this. At least we can get, all right, you know what, do we want to, how do we want to do this? Oh, uh, look, see, this is what I was talking about. I knew we, let me pause. I knew we would have this problem eventually, which is okay. Um, yeah, you know what, even though I don't like to put nodes in roads for no reason, I'm not sure how much it actually matters either. So we're going to get this guy. Yeah, see, so it doesn't like that because we're getting into the power of the poles. So can this guy... I saw yellow for a second. There we go. Yeah. So at least he's temporarily connected so we could build this and this guy should probably be connected anyhow, but is it one of those? Oh, he should have been. Okay. So I think that that'll let us build more stuff and then let's come over here. Yep. These guys are not working on anything. Can you work on that? Yes. That. And that doesn't connect. Why don't you connect? Let's delete that. I'm kind of curious why that's saying it doesn't connect. Let's come back over here. Oops, not medium, high voltage. High voltage. All right, and we're going to commit to that, and then now we're going to come back to here. See that? I So it doesn't, it has nothing to do with them having constructed something. It has to do with something I did there, though I don't know quite what, right? Like I thought I did everything okay, but whatever. All right, so anyway, they've got enough work to do. I'm not going to dwell on it too long. Now, this guy and this guy are coming over on this track. So it's either we got a 50-50 chance. So it's either this one, 25, we need to cancel, or the other one. So let's just cancel 25. I can't, no way for me to tell. Oh, look, we don't have everybody busy. All right, did we get the right one? Meaning the one that was, no, nah, of course not. All right, but anyway, he'll be able to head in now. So this this guy's working on the bridge there. Oh, look, he's on to the next bridge. Wonderful, because I want somebody else to work on this bridge rather than having them conflict like they just did. So this guy, I th you know what? I canceled 25. This is going to be... Electronville. So I'm going to cancel Electronville because at this moment I think I would prefer them to work in here. Oops, I didn't need to didn't need to cancel or exit exit out of that. All right, so you're going to work on no, it doesn't connect. There you go. Oh look, he's. They're well along. Yeah, I'd like to get them doing this with the hope that one day this guy will be done building these tunnels. Yeah, we have workers on the site. Man, we're getting there. It's just, you know, whatever. Very good. All right, so now let's go check out 
I did take a bus and bring it up here and they dumped workers into here because I I had turned these workers all the way off so they wouldn't get any workers. I didn't realize that. I, they're still not going to walk from the town, I don't think, over here. But now we have buses coming, so we're now producing more. Now the problem is, it looks like I'm running out of plastics here. Now how is this guy doing? Chemicals, plastic, it's, it's okay. I'm going to leave it fly, even though this guy's about to run out of stuff, right? Now, this guy's all full of everything. I don't want these trucks running back and forth, so I'm assuming, which is a bad assumption, that this guy will have more workers, but they look pretty even, which is good in its own right. Now, the other thing is, let's take a look at this. Good, we're building up on electrical components, um, which means... We're getting ready to do tracks. Yeah, then we got that fiasco. Okay, you guys. Which one are you? Five. So let's cancel five. Yeah, this one. And then let's go put five back in there. So in other words, that that's... That canceled the whole works, didn't it? It's because these two are somehow seeing themselves oh, until this guy gets past here. Yeah, now this guy needs to get done this bridge because he's blocking this. Once they're both on this bridge, then we should be okay to finish the rest of the way. So what I think I'm going to do is let's cancel five again. And then just even though I know this will eventually cause a conflict, what do we say? We'll, we'll work on one of these. There you go. And again, I know they're going to eventually run into each other, but at least, at least they're busy doing something, right? Good, so we could talk about more electrical components being spread out to other places. I don't know that we're using them too many places. And then we can also talk about building electric track, huh? Yeah, let me go do one thing first before we, maybe we'll wrap up the episode with some electric track. We have this. So what I would like to do is start taking these guys to what makes sense right so we'll take our gravel guy we'll just take some of them and say you come in we'll take four of them and say you come in here let's load unload and we'll cancel this stop yep rail south cargo station and wait Good. So that's our gravel guy. Now we may have, is that him? Yeah, I think we may have more. Well, that's the ask. Is that, what is, what are you? Are you a different guy? Let's come here and say, add a stop here. Unload steel. Wait. All right, so that's two of them. There's a brick guy. And a stop. Unload, wait. Good. Now we got bricks guy, so let's. Go, go to there. All right, who else? You know what? I'm going to take this prefab panels guy. What is this bricks guy? Are you just... Oh, you're coming back. That's right. I just told you to come back. So you... Yeah, that's the car, road cargo station. Good. I don't, do we have two gravel guys coming there or just one? Now, this is a lumber guy. Yeah, definitely want you. You barely ever get used, so... 
but that's a long name, isn't it? Yeah, so we want we want you to go to here. Let's see if we could do this before he gets here. Unload. Wait. Wood. Lumber. Whatever. Good. Go to that stop. So at least if we get four trucks in there, that's four trucks that aren't running around. So there's our steel guy waiting to unload. There is our gravel guy waiting to unload. Bricks. And then we have prefab panels and the fuel guy left, didn't he? Yeah, I guess the fuel guy went to go get more fuel. So the problem is, is we still don't really have enough parking spaces, do we? Because... You know, we still want at least one to be free. Well, then again, I think I have buses coming into here. And they don't necessarily need to. Because what I'm thinking of is, is we should get a dedicated electrical components. So in total, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things. We now have seven stops. So I think what that's going to do is mess up one of our buses. And then the other thing is, are you another... Yeah, you are... Now, look, we're all filled up. Yeah. You know what? We're going to... I don't know if you can actually unload. Yes, you can unload. So we're going to take you and put you in here. Hopefully that works out without that guy. So do we have a covered truck anywhere? Yes. You know what tr covered trucks we have? We have plastic delivery guys. And I don't mean like for in here. I mean guys associated with dropping plastic off here. We have too many trucks, really. Let's see. Can we find one? Where, how can we get rid of this plastic? Yeah, you know what? We need to get rid of those trucks eventually. So, but I think I'm not going to worry about it now. We got it. It's not like we don't have the money. Though our dollars are still slowly trickling down, aren't they? Where did I go? So, what I want to do is come over here. Yeah, this is our chemicals. So, I want to get a truck. Let's start them out over here. Yeah, we still have space. So, let's buy another. Covered hall. Yeah, I wonder what happens. Like, it looks like we're running out of trucks. Like, all of these have dates. Like, will we... Oh, we could still just buy that one? Well, I hope that's not the case. All right, well, anyway, we'll find out. I've never gotten to 2006 before, so... So what I want you to do is come here and get electron components, or electrical components... I guess they're electron components. And then and I want you to come here. Wait. Um, no, I don't want you to wait down the other end because you'll be a pain if you do. So hopefully you won't. Hopefully you won't cause problems. All right, there we go. So now we're getting... Oh, no, wait, wait, we didn't want to do that. Or do we? You know what? It's probably, maybe that's not a bad idea to just cut this guy out of the electrical components as far as the railroad tracks are concerned, right? So now our problem is... There's a bus that is coming to here, I think. Let's Let's see, can I tell which one? Mars. Yeah, you know what? I want you to come to there instead. All right, so you're going up to Farminsky and bringing people into here, which is fine. 
and instead of them going to there, they'll go to here. So that should be one less vehicle. So the oil truck can park in here and that. So the bus busing. So we just have enough, I think, that this won't become a fiasco. Do we, yeah, we have, I think we have everything. Yeah. So while it's nicer to have, I think the biggest issue we're going to have is do we, with one truck, oops, I got to get away from that. Do we have enough to keep these guys busy, right? Like, in other words, like, are we going to run out of gravel? <laughs> because I, I don't see us having enough gravel in the area, and that might mean we need to just have the gravel guys run back and forth, but we'll see how it works out. Hopefully that doesn't slow us down as far as all that goes. All right, well, I think we've had a nice construction episode here. I think we're getting you know, about to the hour mark, not quite there, but, you know, we've gotten this built. Uh, we never did, you know what, let's get them ramped up. Do we have, we don't have a depot over here. So what are we going to need? We're going to need to, let's do this first, limit the amount, and then we don't need wood. So let's take that wood off. So we need to get four trucks to bring each of the steel, wood, bricks, whatever it is, to there. And then we're going to want at least a dumper for now to go here. And then we have this. So we're going to want electrical and mechanical components. Let me take this up to 100%. And then take that back down is the best way to do that. Oh, I did plastics. All right, let's do electrical components. There we go. Now, again, I don't think I'm going to run. Well, let's see. Yeah, because the problem is we really don't have enough parking spaces. We always never have enough. Oh, yes, we do, because we can leave one of the v trucks in here. All right, so let's... Uh, Let's come over to this depot, which is fairly free, and say we're going to need two covered halls, all right, for electrical mechanical components. And then we're going to need four open halls, right? Lumber, bricks, prefabs, and steel. And then we're going to need a dumper. There we go. Good. All right. So let's see. Can we get all these open and not be? Let's zoom in. Come on. That's funny. All right. Why can't I click on you? Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. I don't know what happened there, but. Uh, I don't want the bus. All right, I want to put these all off to the side here. And we'll just deal with one at a time. And we're going to go over an hour, aren't we? That's all right. Then. We'll, we'll get another... We'll actually get one of our little mini storages officially working. Now the question is, where do we get supplies from? Is it better to get them from here and have two separate trucks running back and forth? You know, I don't necessarily want any more trucks coming in and out of here. So I think I'm going to just like relay from here the stuff up to there for now. It'll be a little bit easier. So if we talk about our open halls, here's one. So you will get steel. And let's move this guy over to that side. Another open hall here. And you will get bricks. Move this guy over here. Good. The open halls are all in a row. And you oops, will get wood, lumber, whatever I mean. Let's just move that guy up. Dumper. Covered. Covered. Open hall. And you will get 
prefab pen. All right, let's get these guys set up. It's not that far. Good. So open haul. Unload. You know, we could really do, you know, I'm going to do anything and I want you to wait. So this one is going to come into here and wait to drop off. So it will fill up one of our spots, but for now, that'll be fine. As long as two guys don't end up, ever end up sitting there wait. So now you are going to come here and unload and wait. And then you are going to come here. I'm just going to leave them unload anything. I don't think that hurts. Oh, I didn't start them. Gosh darn it. That's all right. We can do this. We need to do that anyway. So let's... Oops. Start. 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 All right. There's our dumper. And you are going to come close that, right? You are going, thank you, game save. You are going to come here. And, yeah, I mean, are we going to relay? Now, you know what? You're going to, you don't need to go there. Let's delete that. You're going to come here, because why not? It's not that much further. And you will actually be going right to the source, which is a few less trucks running around. And then you're going to come here and unload. Start. Now the other thing, let's copy this route. Because rather than have, I just noticed these two trucks sitting here forever. If I mean, yep, this is, and we need another name for this town, but... Let's, uh, are we waiting? No. Uh, wait. Yeah. So there we go. Good. So there we go. Now, covered. Do we have both of the covered open? There we go. So now where should you go? I think you should go right to this warehouse and get mechanical components. Let's move that up. And you... Ah, I didn't need to close that. I'll leave that guy up over there. This guy... Might as well come directly to this factory for now, or this, this, and load up electrical components. And then now we can come over here, and unload anything, and wait. I did say, oh, you know what? You can't wait, can you? Oh. Yeah, this is the warehouse. So we'll have one... Well, no, we can't have them in there because then nobody can get stuff out. Yeah, so we don't have enough parking spaces. But let's we'll let them fill the thing up for a little while and then we'll, we'll worry about that. I don't... We'll see. We'll just... We'll go from there, you know. The uh, little bloop was Adam saying that one ton equals 1,000 kilograms, which actually isn't true. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what he was commenting on because I'm not sure. I don't. I didn't see which video. Um, but uh, you know, kilogram is two point two pounds. A ton is two thousand. So whatever you know, if you were to say, let's see, let me work it out. Um, and I do need to end this episode. Mass and weight pounds. They're calling it short tons, so 
1,000 kilograms is 1.1 tons. Anyway, <laughs> it, whatever. I, I just, I'm, again, I'm not sure what he's, I know I made a comment in the last video about you guys still use tons. Like, so it's, it's the point being that the metric system is not universally accepted and it's not just the United States that doesn't always use it type thing. So, okay. So now you want to go to here and yeah, you know, I'll have him wait to, to unload his mechanical components, even though I know I'm creating a problem here, but again, they should drive back and forth and then we can decide what to do. Maybe we'll have them as part of a delivery loop eventually where they just come in here, drop off and then they'll drive, you know, just like over here or something. But, but for now they'll get that filled up and, and keep our com electronic components flowing, you know, keep our wealth building. So there you go. So I know I'm, I'm getting pretty far over an hour, so I'm just going to kind of cut myself off here. I hope you enjoyed the little construction episode. I think we got some things done. We're, making more components. We're building electrical lines. Looks like we're almost done them. Yeah, good good job, buddy. Yeah, get out there and get that electrical, get that electrical going. Doesn't connect. There's something weird with that doesn't connect thing. All right, anyway, I'm gonna cut myself off. You guys get the idea. Have a good day and I will talk to you sometime in the near future, hopefully the next episode. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Take care of yourselves.